Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is North Central Technical College. Based in Wausau, NTC has six campus locations spread across the region. Today, we are visiting the Agriculture Center of Excellence just north of Wausau. It's a working dairy farm that houses several programs, including dairy science, greenhouse business management, and veterinary science. This is Milo. He is from the Humane Society of Marathon County and is up for adoption. <clears throat> Seriously? Yes. That's where I met veterinary technician student Paige White. We watched as her fellow students prepared Milo for a dental exam. They are going to intubate him so they can start the cleaning process. What are you um, planning to do with your um, degree? Do you have a job yet? Or are you looking for a job? I will be doing my last internship here in the summertime, mm -hmm. and I am hoping to land somewhere in Clintonville. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah. You work with the Humane Society here. How many vet techs end up adopting animals that they work on from the Humane Society? <laughs> Quite a bit from the way it sounds. That would be a work hazard for me. Oh, me too. <laughs> After that, Paige and fellow student Kate Farrar taught me how to clean teeth using a canine mannequin. This is your scaler. Okay. You'll want to hold it like you're holding a modified pencil. How often should uh, pet owners have their teeth their animals' teeth looked at at least to see if they need to be cleaned? At the very least once a year. I could do this like literally all day, so <laughs> look at that, so nice. From the Vet Tech building, I stopped by the greenhouse to meet Ben Springer and Layla Jana, students in the Garden to Market Specialist program. We get to manage the closest greenhouse. We also have a grow pod. Besides the beautiful planter arrangements, the students are using hydroponics to grow different varieties of lettuce in the grow pod next to the greenhouse. What we do is we get a plug tray and we put uh, peat moss plugs in okay. and then we put a seed in each individual pod okay. and then we wait for that to grow until it's large enough that we can place those plugs in the hydroponics. There's these little holes and okay. then in this. Yep. So there's no, gro there's no dirt in there? Nope, just water. Wow. It's a completely controlled environment, right. so we determine the temperature, the moisture, the light, everything. And then um, the plants stay clean and pest-free, so we get to have pesticide-free. Ah. Um, so that's a big wow. benefit. That's a really great for your long-term health. I couldn't leave the farm without getting to meet some of the cows, so President Jeannie Warden and I stopped by one of the barns. Do you find that students get interested in one part of the farm operation and then sometimes they end up exploring another aspect of it or Absolutely. doubling up on programs? Absolutely. We find that really across the college that once our students get here and they learn something that they know they can ladder on another degree or a specialized certificate just to make them ready for the workforce or they know they can always come back. But especially at our Agriculture Center of Excellence, there's a lot of opportunity for, uh, for two degrees. <music> The behavior is a big uh, drawing point for me because animals can't talk. They have their own certain way and I think that's really interesting how they just communicate. through their body language, how they communicate, um, a lot of times um, we see just the dog bites, the cat bites, but we don't understand is that they're giving warning signs, they're giving body language, it's out of fear and we just, sometimes we just see the initial bite and I think it's interesting that we can come to know animals um, a lot better. Yeah, I often find my dogs easier to understand than my teenagers, so um, <laughs> I totally get that one.